Hello! <laughs> Welcome back. I'm doing a little mukbang. We're in my lounge room today. We're nice and cozy. This is usually where I would eat. I do have a dining table, but it's usually covered in work stuff that I have to film, like clothes and stuff. And sometimes I just like to sit right in front of my TV, watch The Office, and eat. My pants are falling down. Okay, so we're going to do a little mukbang. I've actually got rolled here today. Kind of random for me. I don't think I've ever ordered rolled before on Uber Eats. But I'm kind of really keen. You're also on my camera. So I'm really switching it up and really bringing you a high quality vid today. And I hope it's fun and, inter and interesting. But let's do a haul of what I got. So I got a faux. I know that's not how you say it. I think it's fur. But I don't know. I am a white Aussie bitch. So I say faux. But I don't think that's right. Um, it's just like a beef. That doesn't look cooked. I mean, you can eat beef raw. Pumpkin's definitely going to be in and out of this video. So yeah, I got a little faux. And we're just going to pour that in. So I'm not usually a faux girly. If I go to roll, I will get rice paper rolls. But I was in Lithgow the other day. Don't ask why. And there's like a really good faux place there. My uncle was telling me. So I got one and now I'm kind of obsessed. But I know this one's not going to be as good. Because the one that I went to was literally amazing. Rice paper rolls, obviously, this is the go-to from Roll to Me. Only basically because the rice paper rolls are basically a vessel for hoisin sauce. Because hoisin sauce slaps. Peach iced tea, always. Rice paper rolls, I can't remember which ones I get. I get like the beef, duck, you know, the drill. And then, stop licking that. And then sweet potato fries. If you haven't had the sweet potato fries from Rolled, they are so good. They're like battered. Stop. Pumpkin is such a scab, she'll literally eat anything. I don't think cats were like that. I knew dogs were, well, some dogs, but I didn't know cats were like that because every cat I've had hasn't really been like that. But I'll literally like, look over and she'll be like licking my Vegemite toast, which is not a vibe. So anyway, these are really good. But I thought we could just catch up, chat, eat these goodies. Um, they chucked in chopsticks and a spoon, which is literally a godsend. I hate when Uber Eats places don't do that. Grab chopsticks. Got a little spoon for our faux. But I asked you guys to kind of ask me topics or questions to talk about because I wasn't really sure what I should talk about. So I asked you guys to let me know what I should talk about. Stop. You're being silly now. Okay. Plans for your 21st. Okay, this is a fun question. My mum will actually froth this question because my mum has been all over it. So basically, I'm only 19. It's my 20th this year in December. Right now it is June. 1st of June. Pinch and a punch for the first day of the month. It's 1st of June. I turned 20 this year, but I turned 21 next December. So it's actually a very long time away. But my mum's like, oh, it's your 21st. Like, we want to do something huge. Like, we have to start planning it now. Which I understand. Obviously, I'm not going to send out the invitations now. But, like, the time to kind of start thinking about it if you're going to have a big 21st. So I don't know if this girl thinks that's my 21st this year. So, like, that's what she might think. But... Basically, 21st, I do want to have kind of a big bash. I'm not really a birthday girly. I enjoy birthdays, I guess. I enjoy other people's birthdays a lot. I don't so much enjoy mine as much as other people's. I really love celebrating other people's birthdays. But, um, yeah, so I don't really usually do anything big for my birthday. I think, like, once my 18th, a brand threw me, like, a huge boat party. And that's probably, like, the biggest thing I've done. Um, actually, we do really celebrate it. But it's mainly just an event for all of the family to get together. And it's not really, like so much focus on my birthday it's more just like a family trip um because i don't know i just feel like birthdays are kind of overrated all right let's try this far mm, i love bean sprouts bean sprouts are the best mm. that's really yummy um yeah so usually the tradition is that we go to hamilton island for my birthday so obviously yes we do celebrate it like a big celebration but it's more just like a little getaway for my friends and family um and they always make me feel really special so this year for my 20th we're definitely gonna be going to hamilton island but i think for my 21st we might throw a little birthday bash just because i think it's fun it's fun to celebrate why not it's an excuse to have a party you know mm. this is really yummy i think i'm becoming a faux girlie so yeah, that's kind of my plans for my 21st. Haven't really obviously planned anything set in stone yet because it's kind of far away. But that's what we're thinking right now. This meat is like not cooked. And I know you can have beef raw. But I'm not really vibing that today. So I'm just going to have the noodles and the sauce and not eat the meat. Oh. 
my whole phone just spilled out on the table. Oh, now pumpkin's gonna lick it all. Because it's gone through the cracks of the table. Mmm, why? Why did this have to go wrong? Please hold. Okay, I'm gonna like properly clean that up later, but I really wanna eat this, so we just put some paper towel down for now. Okay, let's get another question. I feel like I need to reheat these chips again because they're not the hottest. I'm really trying to find a good question. Okay, let's crack this open. Oh, my battery light's flashing. That's so annoying. Um, Kiss, Mary Kill, Tyler the Creator, The Weeknd, and Drake. Okay, so I don't listen to Tyler the Creator. Don't really know anything about him. Sure, I know some of his songs, maybe they're on like TikTok, but I don't really know his music. So I'm gonna say, Kill Tyler the Creator, Marry the Weeknd, Kiss Drake. Mmm, actually, no. Mmm. The Weeknd was kind of like a dick to Bella Hadid, was he not? So maybe I'd marry Drake and Kiss the Weeknd. Even though I like the Weeknd more, like his music more. But like, as a person, I don't really know any of them as a person, but. I just know that The weekend was, like, didn't he cheat on Bella Hadid? I don't know. I don't really keep up with that stuff, but. What girls are you going to Euro with? Okay, so basically the first few days of Euro, basically I'm going to Europe. I haven't really talked about it that much on YouTube, I don't think. Maybe I have, but I'm going to Europe for seven weeks with the girlies. And the first five days are with the brand. So the first five days, there's going to be four of us. Um, and then three of us are extending for, like, quite a long time. Um, and so it's going to be me, Molly, and Carla taking on Europe past the brand trip. You know what I mean? So we're like extending the brand trip, but it's like the brand's not taking us through the whole of Europe. It's just for that first five days with the brand and we're extending. So I'm really excited. Basically the plan is we're only just like going to originally go for three weeks, which kind of probably would have been better because I'm really stressed about the seven weeks. Why were you not open? Hmm. We're only supposed to go for three weeks, but then we really want to go to Rolling Loud, which is in America now. To get from Europe to America, it's a 10-hour flight. To get to America from here, it's a 24-hour flight. It's a whole day of flying, two different flights. So we were like, mm, Rolling Loud's in America. By the time we come home, have a week and a half to get over jet lag, we're going to have to fly back to Rolling Loud, to Miami. So we were like, we might as well just extend in between then. This won't open. Extend in between then and... Then just fly from Europe to America. So that's basically what we're doing. That's the plan. Really excited. Rolling Loud's going to be so much fun. We're originally going to go to Splendor, which was is the exact same dates as Rolling Loud, but the Rolling Loud lineup is so much better. Why weren't these open? I don't understand. Time for a rage paper roll. These are like the best. These are Holy Grail from Rolled. Is Rolled everywhere? Or is it only? I don't think it's overseas. I think it's only Australia, right? Mmm. Honestly. So fresh, so filling, so yummy. Discuss your thoughts on Taylor Swift and Ice Spice collab. Taylor Swift and Ice Spice collab? Wow, they are like two opposites, are they not? Where slash how do you find fashion inspo? Honestly, um, Instagram explore page, TikTok, I mainly get all my inspiration off what randoms are wearing on TikTok. Also like randoms in the street, like if I'm walking around the city and a girl's in a cute fit, that's permanently marked into my brain now and I'm gonna go home and create that straight away. Recreate that. Sorry, my camera died, so now we have this ugly angle. But we're still gonna keep going, we're still gonna answer questions. Funkin's right there. Come here. As I was saying, People on the street, my friends. My friends give me a lot of inspo because they're very fashionable girlies. But kind of just like whatever I see other people wearing, really. Like I'm kind of just a copycat. Did you really have good food if you didn't do the happy dance? 
No, you didn't. The hoisin sauce, happy dance is real. Just hits you. So deep. Pineapple teas. I love you. Say it back. Pumpkin. Such a bitch sometimes. Someone said, how do you deal with nerves slash overthinking with posting on social media? So basically the, the there is an answer to this. And the answer is I don't. I don't deal. I cry to my mom. I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't do that. Um, I'm not... I don't know. I don't really get nerves in terms of like posting photos and stuff. Like I've kind of, I've got my, my followers are so, like you guys hype me up so much. So I don't really get nerves. Um, It's more, I don't really overthink. It's more just like being really careful about what you're putting out there and making sure that you're putting the right message across. This rice paper roll is completely ripped down the middle. So she's, she's precious cargo. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Go say hi. You're being rude. You literally have food, pumpkin. Someone said experience getting off birth control. So basically, this is a good question because this is very relevant. So I've had been on the pill since I was about, I want to say 13 or 14. I had extremely bad cramps and my mum was like, well, the pill kind of sometimes helps that. And it was so bad. Like some days I couldn't go to school. I'd just be rolling around the floor crying. Um, and she was like, you know, maybe we try putting on the pill. So I went on the pill. Obviously, I was not sexually active. I literally didn't have my first kiss till I was in year 11 or 12. So I was not sexually active, but, um, it really did help. Um, that's basically the only reason I was on it. Um, and yeah, so when I went on it, I did, I, the things that changed is I gained weight. My boobs got bigger. Um, and that's kind of all I noticed really I think it was a weird time for me to go on it because obviously your body's already changing so much it's like I could have just, just been gaining weight because I was growing up my, my boobs could have just been getting bigger because I was growing like so all these things are kind of like was it the pill was it just me growing I don't know I always kind of had good skin so I won't really say the pill kind of changed that but then obviously who knows because maybe you don't really get bad skin until you're 14 or 15 and then by that point I was already on the pill so it's kind of really hard to say but basically I decided pretty much randomly like a few months ago, I was like, I want to get off it. Like I've been on it for so long. I'm on like kind of a strong one. Like I'm not on the base level one. I'm on a higher one because the other one didn't really work for me. It didn't really like stop my period. Um, and I would skip my period sometimes. My doctor said it was fine. But I've just been hearing really negative things about it. And I was like, I really want to get off it. There's no real reason to, for me to be on it. I'm having sex, if I'm having sex, I'm using protection. So there's no real need for me to be on the pill. Um, I was like, I just want to get off it. It's just pumping hormones into my body that I don't really need. It's kind of unnecessary. So... Now I'm off it, and I haven't really noticed a difference. Everyone was like, oh my god, best thing you'll ever do. When you get off it, you'll feel so much better. You won't even recognize yourself before. Like, you'll feel like a completely different human. Literally have not noticed a thing. Still haven't got my period back. This is, like, girl chat right now. Very TMI. Still haven't got my period back, um, and I probably got off it a month and a half ago. So I haven't got my period, which has been kind of scary. But haven't gotten it, but a lot of people say... A lot of people say that sometimes it doesn't come back for a while and it's pretty irregular. Some girls were replying because I posted saying like, what are you guys' experiences, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm kind of scared. Um, my body hasn't really changed at all. It's the same. My boobs are still the same. Still the same weight. Nothing's changed. I have noticed I've been getting kind of a bit of weird skin things, but not really anything crazy. I've just been getting a little bit of a rash around my nose, but like that could be the change in weather. Like that could like, it's just so hard to pinpoint whether it's the pill or not, like getting off the pill. So having on my period, it's been a month and a half. Um, but a lot of people said like some girl was like, I, it's been eight months and I still haven't gotten it back. So I know it can be really irregular because obviously your body's trying to like regulate itself kind of back to normal. So yeah, that's kind of my experience so far, but I haven't really, I haven't really been feeling any different or feeling any better or worse. My skin hasn't changed. Nothing's really changed, so. Okay, someone wants to get a little deep because they asked thoughts on right person, wrong time. I don't really discuss topics like this ever. I don't, I kind of just answer random questions. I don't really answer questions like this, so this will be fun to talk about. Thoughts on right person, wrong time. I kind of, I feel like you can be two ways. Like, this is a very polarizing topic. People are either like, yeah, like, 
it was just the wrong time because it didn't work and some people will be like well if it was the right person then you would have made it work or blah blah i am on the side of this topic i'm on that if they're really the right person for you you'll be together that's the side that i'm on so like if you're sitting there being like oh he was the perfect one but it was just the wrong time it's like if they were the perfect one whatever you were going through or whatever was happening in your life it would have they would have made it work do you know what i'm saying and also like that person might come back into your life so they still might end up being your person but like maybe you just had to end but it's gonna you know what i mean like you know how people like split up for a few years or whatever and come back um obviously if you're going through this maybe don't hold on to that because kind of like false hope but let's get back into this even though it literally flung onto my table um so yeah maybe i don't know i'm just kind of on the side of like if they were let's just say soulmate kind of like a cringe word but whatever if they really are your soulmate then they'll come back or it would have worked do you get what i'm saying mm. this is yummy it's really lemony rolled really does slap i need to get it more Someone said hair care routine. So I've actually been on my hair care grind. I'm so happy to just be talking about this because it, I've just been living with my hair. So basically, that didn't make sense. Basically, I've been seeing on TikTok this thing called oiling. And basically, I used to have, oh, like I took my hair for granted. Like she was long, she was thick, and she was just luscious and i really took it for granted i didn't really have a lot of money in high school so i couldn't really get it dyed often so that's why i think i always just thought it looked bad because i had so much regrowth but really like i didn't really appreciate the quality of my hair maybe it didn't look that good because of the color but the quality of my hair was amazing it still is i still have like good hair i'm not saying i have bad hair and my mom probably watching this cringing because my mom has extremely oily hair and she literally i have really dry hair so she's probably like oh my god shut up like you have great hair but it used to be really thick, it used to be really long. So I was like, I need to get back on this. Like, I've seen people on TikTok being like, you know, this is what my hair is. And then all of a sudden I got it to just be really thick and luscious to what it used to be. So I was like, I can do this. Like, people are doing it, I can do it. I did some research, mainly on TikTok, and discovered something called hair oiling, which kind of also gets you to massage your hair follicles, which creates new hair growth. So basically, I have a hair care routine down pat. Um, I've been honestly noticing, noticing a difference with how it's feeling. It's feeling a lot healthier, but I haven't really noticed a difference yet too much because I've only started doing it like a few weeks ago. Probably done it like twice now. But basically, I've ordered all these oils off Amazon, like rosemary oil, grapeseed oil, um, the hair massage thingy to like really massage your hair follicles. I have like a full hair care routine. So basically, once a week, I'll oil my hair, rosemary oil with the dropper all the way down on my roots and on my scalp. I'll massage that with the massager for five minutes. And I mean five minutes. Like, I stand there and put a timer on. Because you could be doing it for 30 seconds. And you're like, oh, that's been a long time. Because it feels like a long time. No. Five minutes. Then I'll, um, like, slick it back. Just put it up for the day. Go, go about my day. A few hours later, I'll go and wash it out. I've been really making sure I research which, like, shampoo and conditioner I use. So, I'm using Briogeo. I think that's how you say it. Um, the, like, apple, like, the green shampoo conditioner i used to use a scalp scrub because i only wash my hair once a week so obviously after like three or four days my hair does get greasy but i only wash it once a week so those last like three or four days of the week i'll be using like um hair, um, hair cream and hairspray and stuff to kind of just do like a slick look for the rest of the week so the scalp scrub and exfoliant really helps get all like the dry shampoo or the hairspray off um and then i'll leave the hair mask on for five minutes and then i'll condition then I'll get out, and then I don't blow dry or really put any heat on my hair. If I do, it's probably once every fortnight, and I make sure to use GHD heat protectant spray and GHD tools, which make sure to not absolutely fry your hair off. Um, but other than that, I try to kind of not use heat as much anymore, just because I'm trying to really get it back to health, and I know the heat's probably not the best for it. So if I am using it, I'll use GHD because their products only go up to a certain amount of degrees. Um... And then I'll kind of just let it air dry and I'll brush it as it's drying so it brushes fairly straight because otherwise I have a whole pff, lines man. And yeah, and I make sure to make sure the shower water's not too hot in the shower. Um, and yeah, so if you want a full like proper routine, let me know because I'm happy to make one on TikTok. But I just kind of want to make sure that it works first before I go promoting all these oils and stuff. But I have heard that rosemary oil, rosemary oil does really promote growth. That's the end of my little mukbang. So you ate lunch with me or dinner with me or breakfast with me. Um, I hope you did, because that would have been cute. A little, um, 
lunch date. But I love you. I'm going to go watch The Office and do some work. I have some work to do. But I love you. If you want more book bugs, let me know. I'm really annoyed my camera died. But let me know if you like the camera or the phone quality more. I feel like the camera is way better. So for sit down videos, I can try and remember to use my camera next time. I love you. Also, get came for the Europe vlogs because they'll be coming in, coming in hot. Like weekly. I'll be vlogging every week over there. So slay. I love you.